So I wanted to do a quick prepping video. We had a, a big storm inbound, um, tropical storm. It's probably not going to, like where I live, they're saying it's probably going to be more rain than wind. But still, I could see 50 mile an hour sustained winds where I am. Um, I'm not too concerned about damage to my property. Right now, I am concerned about fuel shortages uh, and loss of utilities. Um, mostly at this point, fuel shortages. Um, I think that if I were to make an estimate, I could be reasonably, with a storm this size, this scale, I think it's possible I could be down for anywhere from 12 hours. Well, potentially not at all. Actually, probably not at all. I probably won't lose power throughout the course of the storm because I'm far enough inland. That's my expectation. So I'm going to say 80%. I'm not going to lose power at all. I'll see no loss of utilities. Um, 20%, I'll see a power outage ranging from, you know, a couple hours to two weeks. Um, I think the probability of being without power for two weeks uh, due to this one event is, is extremely low, like probably less than a tenth of a percent. But, you know, that's where I'm at. So, um, food, I went shopping, got my milk and bread and eggs all stocked up. Um, I've got my long-term food storage, but I like to eat the way I like to eat. And if, as long as I can not eat freeze-dried food, I will not eat freeze-dried food. That's there for when I need it. I'm like, I'm going to die. Um, I got a call from my boss. This is probably a little bit more of a legitimate concern, which is uh, gasoline and diesel shortages. Um... My boss, I work for an oil company. They sell oil and, and diesel. Um, told me to go gas up the truck uh, today before the storm comes in. And the reason he said that is because he's getting uh, calls from his suppliers saying that the next delivery is going to be delayed. Um, so he's concerned enough to call me and tell me to go fuel up the gas truck. I'm sorry, go fuel up the um, service truck because he's worried about gasoline shortages. Considering he buys in bulk uh, propane, uh, oil, and diesel fuel. He's got his, his finger on the pulse of the market. He's got enough concern to call me and tell me to go get a little, you know, 10 gallons of gasoline, 20 gallons of gasoline. He's really concerned. He wants every bit he can get. So I got that, gassed up the truck, and then I went and I filled up my gas containers. So I got 15 gallons stored. Um, fired up my generator, make sure that that's in good work. Excuse me, that that's in good working order. I've got the ability to power pretty much everything in my house, with exception to my HVAC, which I wouldn't run on that. Um, you know, but I would plug in a window unit. So if, if I need to air condition that bad, I could run my fridge, a television in a window unit, probably nonstop for four days, give or take with the fuel I have. Well, maybe not nonstop, but for enough periods that it's going to, um, You know, keep the fridge cold and keep the room cold. The fridge doesn't need to run nonstop. But, um, you know, I wish that I was a little bit more prepared as far as long term uh, self sufficiency when it comes to energy. I do feel like I'm vulnerable in that regard, though, still. I have a cord of wood so I could cook. Um, even if my natural gas, I don't have natural gas burners, which is another thing. I should have some sort of backup um, natural gas stove or uh, 
some standing pilot hot water heater so I could, you know, not have to, you know, power up my um, tankless water heater off a generator in order to take a hot shower. But all those things, like I said, I could go for intermittent power. I could go for two weeks, probably, with the oh, gasoline I have and a little bit of solar. I basically have enough solar to power up my cell phones. And um, that's about it. And, uh, and yeah. So this is a great test of preparedness. Um, it's an incoming weather emergency. And, you know, seeing a lot of people out there. A lot of bare shelves at the grocery store. Um, you know, probably... 30% more sparse, but no craziness, you know, people are definitely all getting five gallons of gasoline along with, there, there's more lines at the gas station than anywhere, but, um, I th and I, I think I agree with that, I think the more reasonable short-term concern is the interruption of, um, oil and gasoline service to my area, so, that's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be fun. So, or at least I have uh, some sorts of electricity. And, you know, if need be, I can sustain myself. I could even power up the generator during the storm if I wanted to. Oh, my other thing. I got to get my candles. I got a whole bunch of candles. That's another thing. Wasting, um you know, generator time on, on lighting when a candle will last all evening, you know, for $2 and very little fuel. So little things like that will stretch out the gas. Like I don't need to watch television. I'll read a book and buy a candle light. That'll entertain me just as much as a television, um, at one, one hundredth of the energy cost. So little things like that. I'm not too worried about it. They like said the big thing is ability to give myself a hot shower, which I can do. Ability to keep my food frozen, which I can do. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Food, keeping my food stores, and my body clean and comfortable is everything. I got stung yesterday by a wasp. Not happy about it. So that's it. Yeehaw, um, I like this low grade emergency. It's much better than. Something really terrible happening. Tropical storm is just enough danger where it can be a little fun. It's not real danger. Not yet.